I'm Mike Reeves. I'm with uh, the commercial horticulture team, and we're standing in a peach orchard uh, today on March the 26th, 2014. Uh, right now, the temperature is uh, around 45 degrees, but about five hours ago, we were at about 22. As you can see, this tree has a lot of blooms on it, and with that kind of temperature, you can probably expect to have damage. Um, the purpose of doing this video is so that you can help you determine how much damage there is because a grower needs to decide how they continue with their cultural practice whether it be fertilization, pruning, or whatever based on if they have a crop or not. And as you can see this particular tree has various stages of bud development. There are uh, open blooms and blooms that are still closed. Uh, initial observation here is that most of the open blooms, in fact, all the open blooms we find are, are damaged. They've been killed by the freeze, but there are plenty of closed blooms and some of those have been killed as well. The good thing about a peach crop or a peach tree is that this one limb, like the one I'm holding, only needs one or two peaches per limb to make a crop. And as you can see, there's probably 20 plus buds or blooms on here. So if a grower knows how to look at the bloom or bud and determine if it's a live peach quickly they'll know how to continue it's evident that if you wait to a couple of weeks you know the live peaches will continue to grow but they need to understand quicker so that they can uh, continue with whatever is going on on the farm and uh, now we'll show you the difference of what a live peach and a, and a freeze damaged peach looks like inside the bloom to evaluate whether the the peach is live or dead. You have to take the bloom apart in order to see the small peach inside. You just remove the petals and the shucks and the very small peach inside the bloom will be right in the middle. In this case, this one is dead because it, uh, it is brown. Here I've uh, taken a couple apart and the one on the left is uh, green. Uh, it's very plump where if you look at the one on the right, it's uh, already discolored. Uh, it's kind of uh, brown looking. And as the day wears on, this will be more and more evident. But here we are just five hours after the freeze and we can already tell what's damaged. So uh, again, we might not need but one live peach on this shoot. And in this case, this is probably enough if it's this way over the whole tree to, that you probably still have a crop of peaches and can go ahead and, and take care of them.